today, we mourn the loss of a friend and a product that defined a generation. Apple's first pocketable product. I could probably fit the Newton in my pocket, though. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. But also, a device that was beloved by so many, even though it never shipped with the charge brick. Wait, the iPhone 12 didn't start that trend? It was the iPod? Okay, it's, it's not right now. It also never had taptic feedback. You're right, it never had a vibration motor either. Oh, what? Why did they? Stop right now, right now. And despite the fact that it never had biometrics. Not even Touch ID? Oh my god, you're right. It never even had a fingerprint Damn it. reader. Don't talk about it. It's his funeral. We've got to remember the nice things. Okay. People still loved it to this very day, and we're very sorry to finally bring the iPod to an end. The last remaining product in the iPod line will no longer be produced. Stop complaining. Just pay your respects. Go. Just pay your respects. Just say goodbye. Okay. That's what we're here for. I'm gonna miss you, iPod, and I'll always love you. So about those iPhone 14 display leaks, Tim. Apple confirmed it this morning. While supplies last is now listed on the iPod Touch order page, and it only took five years of asking for them to finally do it. And I know, so many of you are upset, so many of you are nostalgic. I'm here to help you grieve, kind of get through this process and start to realize that your memories, your positive impact that you've had on the iPod are all still gonna be there. The fact that Apple is no longer producing the iPod Touch does not change the fact that you can go pull out your old iPods and take a walk down memory lane. And Apple built a crap ton of these things. So no, I don't think they're gonna be super valuable and hard to find on eBay or Mark marketplace or craigslist i don't care where you want to look you're still going to be able to buy old cheap ipods and use them just like you could before the truth is there hasn't really been much sense in selling the ipod for the past five years pretty much iphones have been built at so much higher massive scale that you've been able to buy unlocked you know carrier free phones with better specifications and better battery life and better displays for less money than what an ipod touch would cost and I did a whole video breaking down all of the cheaper options options to get a pocketable iOS device that even has better battery, better camera, better display, biometrics, better silicon on the inside for less money. But yeah, there was still a bunch of people out there saying they're like, well, for my business, I use iPod touches at bulk. I've only heard that talked about. I've never actually seen it in the real world. And the fact that Apple is now discontinuing it, I'm just gonna say probably proves my point. I don't think Apple would discontinue this product if there was a large number of people buying it and it was selling. The fact that they're discontinuing it and now it's saying while supplies last which basically means they have some iPod touches in stock which makes sense because not that many people are buying them but basically once the current inventory runs out it will be removed from the website and they're not building any more from here on out and yeah even Apple wanted to pay homage to it in the newsroom page you know they were very proud of the iPod's legacy and the fact that it's been selling for over 20 years but I think the last 10 shouldn't really count considering if you look at Apple's financials how small a sliver that iPod line was but it was an important chapter in Apple's history and it will always be that you'll always have the ability to reminisce on the good old days of iPods but let's not kid ourselves most of you were not using iPods daily some of you were crying and boasting about how sad you were about the iPod being killed off from your $1,000 iPhone and you very much plan on upgrading to another iPhone within the foreseeable future the iPod touch was not going to be a product you ordered in the near-term future but if you want to take a trip down memory lane pull out the old iPods that's what I've been doing I'm looking at my old iPod classics nanos and shuffles and I'm like wow it's the end of an era and if you didn't keep your old iPods if you sold them off because you didn't need them anymore this kind of proves my point. If you had no use in keeping your iPods for this amount of time, so you handed them off or sold them, then it's because you didn't see value in having an iPod anymore. That's why Apple's not producing it anymore. That's why there's no point in selling it because no one's buying these things. Personally, I think businesses and restaurants and whatever are using real cheap budget iPads that you can buy in bulk for $300 and they actually have like a full screen display that's a lot easier for note taking or doing inventory because you can 
you know, scan your documents, but also have a display that's close to the size of a piece of paper. Trying to like take orders or do documentation on that tiny iPod touch keyboard with that crappy battery life is not practical. And I don't believe there were that many businesses doing it. And now you're going to have a much harder time arguing that point in the comments below. So yeah, even though I've been making videos about why the iPods should die since like 2017, I believe, it took a while for Apple to finally admit that it doesn't make sense anymore. And I completely agree with it. But again, I'm not against you paying homage if you want to. Pay your respects, play around with your iPods. I know some people still use them daily. There's probably already 50 people that have commented down below. I know someone who still uses an iPod. Great. They could use it yesterday and they can continue to use it for many years to come. And the iPod Classic mod community, of course, is still going to be very present. But Apple hasn't been building iPod Classics for years. So the fact that they're no longer producing the iPod Touch doesn't change the enthusiasts that really love to have locally stored music. That's still going to be there and it will continue to be there for a long time. But in my view, it was inevitable that the iPhone was just far too good and of course now getting far cheaper, especially in the certified refurbished and used market that keeping around iPod touches, even for $200, was pretty ridiculous considering how crappy the hardware was. But the more interesting question I'm curious about now is that since Apple is no longer producing the iPod touch and we have quadruple UDC next month, will the last generation iPod touch get iOS 16? It's rumored that iOS 16 is not going to work on any devices with the A9 chip, so that kills off the 6S, which makes sense. It's had a lot of years of support. That kills off the first generation SE. That's the only other Apple device running the latest iOS with a four inch display. The iPod touch technically has an A10, but it's an underclocked version of it. If they want to bring iOS 16 to the A10 chips, then the iPod touch would be the only device rocking a four inch display and the latest version of iOS. So back when they last refreshed the iPod touch seventh generation, that was three years ago. They haven't touched it for that long. But the sixth generation it replaced did not get the iOS that came out at Quadruple UDC later that year. So with that in mind, I'm personally going to predict that iOS 16 will not be available on the iPod Touch, although I could be wrong. Maybe Apple does want to optimize it one last time. But yeah, basically, if you wanted a fresh, clean iPod Touch directly from Apple, this is your last chance. Buy them while supplies last. If you're curious if I'm going to be buying it, no, because they're useless and I have an iPhone, which is in infinitely more useful. Well done for keeping it around this long Apple. Frankly, I wonder what inspired them to discontinue it today of all days. I wonder if they're building iPod touches in bulk like they built a bunch of them last year and they just started to run out of that inventory and they were thinking like, hmm, do we want to order another big bulk? And of course, the chip shortage is a real thing and the iPod touch is probably eating up some of those chips they could put towards other things. But the chip shortage isn't really a new thing. So it makes me wonder if Apple has been going through their last shipment of iPod touches since the pandemic started over the past two years because sales for the iPod are just insanely low and they're just now reaching the end and they just kind of finally agreed yeah we're not gonna ask for another bulk order of these things we ordered a bunch three years ago and we were just living off of that in the meantime but all your theories as to why Apple decided to kill the iPod today of all days let me know what you're thinking down in the comments below this is your Apple Shape here I'll see you in the next one rest in peace iPod